So now we shall be discussing regarding the popliteal fossa. Okay. We shall be discussing regarding the popliteal fossa. All of you know popliteal fossa is a fossa that is present behind the knee. Okay. Back of the knee on the posterior side you have got a fossa. So behind the kneecap whatever fossa you have on the back that is called as popliteal fossa. So first of all we shall look at what are the borders and what are the contents. And then we shall look at the structures that are located in the roof as well as the floor of the popliteal fossa. Okay. Right now when it comes to the borders first of all you should draw the posterior side. So this is a posterior side of your thigh and this is a posterior side of your leg. Okay posterior side of your leg. Now here you have got few important muscles which you need to know. So what are those few important muscles sir? For example here you have got a muscle like this right. So this muscle which you can see actually there are two muscles over here. So these muscles are semi tendinosus as well as semi membranosus. You know the hamstring muscles we discussed. So semi tendinosus and semi membranosus. And here we have got a muscle like this and this muscle is called as the long head of biceps. Okay. And when you come little bit down. Okay. So when you come little bit down over here. Here you have got a muscle called as gastronemius. Okay. So we will discuss all those muscles in detail but for now gastronemius. So there are two heads of gastronemius like this. Okay. One is called as the lateral head. Another one is called as the medial head of gastronemius like this. Lateral head and medial head of gastronemius. So what are the muscles that are located here guys. So here we have got a muscle. So one is semi tendinosus. Another one is semi membranous semi membranous as well as semi tendinosus muscles so two muscles okay here pe. and here we have got uh, biceps femoris biceps femoris so what biceps femoris it is the long head of biceps femoris okay and here and here we have got one is called as a lateral head of gastronemius another one is called as a medial head so this is your lateral head of gastronemius okay and this is the medial head of gastronemius so one is the lateral head another one is the medial head so how many muscles in total we have got four muscles so how do you name these actually how do you name the borders so how do you name this border sir all these borders are located on the posterior side right so for example if i'm dividing this like this if I'm dividing like this, so what will happen? The upper part is the superior and the lower part is the inferior, right? So even in the superior also, we have, see, this is your lateral side. This is your medial side. So we have got suprolateral, supromedial, and we have got inferolateral and inferomedial. Yes or no? So here also, this is the lateral and this is the medial side. And by the way, the upper part above this line is the superior. The lower part below this uh, line is the inferior part. Okay, so superior laterally. Okay, superior laterally. What muscles do we have? Semi tendinosus and semi membranosus. Superior medially. Superior or supromedially. Okay, superior medially or supromedially. We have got long head of biceps. Infro laterally. Infro inferior lateral we have got medial head of gastronemius and inferior not inferior lateral sorry this is inferior medial right thank you this is inferior medially we have got medial head of uh, gastronemius and inferior laterally we have got this ga lateral head of gastronemius so these are the borders guys okay after this borders we have to discuss what are the structures that are forming the floor of this popliteal fossa. Now what are the structures that are forming the floor of popliteal fossa. So structures that are forming the floor. So regarding the structures that are forming the floor first of all we shall look at the back end right the posterior surface of the tibia fibula as well as the femur we shall draw that and then we shall look at the structures. So posteriorly this is of your bone looks. Right 
and you know that here we have got here here you have got this fibula right so this is your femur this is your tibia and this is your fibula now the first important thing you should understand here is that guys the first important thing is here you have got this dotted lines which are i'm drawing you right so this dotted lines represent the capsule of your knee joint okay so this dotted lines whatever i'm drawing here this dotted lines represents the capsule of your knee joint capsule of the knee joint so this yellow color part whatever i'm shading this entire thing is the capsule now after this capsule within the capsule if you see clearly you will have a small ligament okay and this ligament tell me what is the shape of this ligament it is horizontal vertical or oblique yes this ligament is oblique so this is called as oblique popliteal ligament okay so what is the name of uh, this ligament over here this ligament is called as oblique popliteal ligament popliteal ligament okay now after that here you have got a muscle now this muscle which is present all over here this muscle is called as your popliteus muscle so this muscle over here is called as your popliteus muscle and just above this popliteus muscle you have got a very important fascia you know muscle is covered by a fascia so above this popliteus muscle you have got this thing this is called as a fascia of popliteus so what are the structures here so this one is called as your popliteus muscle and this is your fascia of popliteus fascia covering the popliteus so what are these structures so first we discussed we have got capsule of the knee joint uske upar oblique popliteal ligament uske baad we have got popliteus muscle and then the fascia of the popliteus so these are the four important structures that are forming the floor of the popliteal fossa so then if these are forming the floor of popliteal fossa then what are forming the roof of popliteal fossa so let us see what are the structures that are forming the roof of popliteal fossa so regarding the structures which are forming the roof of popliteal fossa so let me draw this picture over here so this is the back right so this is the gluteal region like this this is the back and all of you know that this is your popliteal fossa all the way like this this is your popliteal fossa so just remember the mnemonic psm okay what does psm stands for p here stands for a nerve that is exactly located in the center here and this is called as posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh and by the way again these are not the contents these are the roof of the popliteal fossa so this one is your posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh so this is your posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh now after this after this the second important thing we have is this vein over here okay so here we have got a small vein just side to that right so this vein over here is called a short saphenous vein short saphenous vein okay and after the short saphenous vein if you closely look here from here we are going to get another nerve that is coming all the way here right and this nerve over here you call it as this nerve over here you call it as sural communicating nerve or sural communicating nerve okay and lastly here from outside entering into the popliteal fossa we have got the last one and this is called as the this is on the medial side right see this is the lateral this is the medial so this will become the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh nerve of thigh so how many cutaneous nerves we have got guys we have got two cutaneous nerves which is exactly in the center on the posterior side is called as a posterior cutaneous which is to the medial is called as a medial cutaneous apart from that two other more s and s s stands for short saphenous s stands for 
pseudal communicating. So what, where is the PSM here? So this is P, this is S and this is M. These two are S and the other one is M. Okay, so this is PSM. So these are the structures that are forming the roof of popliteal fossa. Right, now what are the structures, what are the structures that are located within the popliteal fossa which means the contents. Okay, need not to draw the contents, so just uh, remember the names. So, contents of popliteal fossa. So, what are the contents of popliteal fossa? The first important thing we shall see is the popliteal vessels will be there. Popliteal vessels, matlab, you have got popliteal, popliteal artery you have got, you have also got popliteal vein, right? So, let me write it like this. Popliteal artery you have got, the second one is popliteal vein, right? And third important thing is popliteal lymph nodes. Popliteal lymph nodes also you have got. And fourth important thing is popliteal pad of fat. Popliteal pad of fat. So these are the four important things you have. Apart from this, apart from this, what is the fifth important thing you have? You even have got tibial nerve, right? You even have got tibial nerve. Along with the tibial nerve, what is the other branch? We have got common peroneal nerve. So these are the two branches of sciatic nerve, right? So common peroneal nerve. So what are the complete structures that are located here? Popliteal artery vein, lymph nodes, right? Along with that... Uh, we have got the popliteal fat of pad and two nerves that is the branches of sciatic nerve one is called as your tibial nerve right which supplies your hamstrings the calf muscles and all right and the other one is called as your common peroneal nerve okay these are the structures that are the contents of popliteal fossa right the next important thing is that this is clinically very important so this thing all of you just look here so all of you just look here Right. So now here, here, this is your popliteal fossa. Agree? This is your popliteal fossa. Okay. Now in this popliteal fossa, the first important thing you need to know is that you have got an artery which is called popliteal artery. I told you, right? So let us say this is a popliteal artery. Above this popliteal artery, you have got popliteal vein, right? So let us say that this is your popliteal vein. Okay. And above this popliteal vein, you have got nerve. So let us say this is called as a tibial nerve. So what are the three things over here? Let me write it as artery, that is popliteal artery, vein, that is popliteal vein, and nerve, that is called as popliteal nerve. For example, if I'm dividing these areas, okay, what do I mean is, for example, if I'm dividing this entire area into three parts, the upper part, right, the middle part, as well as the lower part. So in the upper part if you see what are the structures that are located in the middle part and in the lower part what are the structures. So on the upper part from lateral to medial for example let us say that this is the lateral side right and this is the medial side. So from lateral to medial what are the structures you have got laterally on the upper part right. So in the upper part upper part laterally first I have got an artery okay. Artery ke baad kya hai? we have got a vein and finally we have got a nerve so artery vein and nerve are structures located from the lateral epicondyle uh, from the lateral side sorry to the medial side from the lateral side to the medial side and in the middle part in the middle part you cannot differentiate between a lateral to medial or medial to lateral so you have to differentiate it from top to bottom or superior to inferior okay so in the middle part so from top to bottom what is the first structure that is located on the top the last important first you have got artery above artery vein above vein there is nerve so on the top there is nerve first on the top you have got nerve and after the nerve next what do you have vein and after the vein what is the third thing you have got artery you have got an artery from top superior to inferior direction and again when it comes to the lower part so even in the lower part also from lateral to medial from lateral all the way to medial what are the structures located so laterally what do you have what is this this is the nerve laterally you have got a nerve right and after the nerve what do you have 
this is the second one which is there what is this vein right after this vein this is the third thing you have got this is an artery vein and artery you see what is the differences between the upper part and lower part so upper part artery vein and nerve by the time it comes to lower part it is nerve vein and artery so it is completely reverse right so this is one very important transition which you need to know from the top part to the bottom part